Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, so basically, uh, Dragon's Dogma is Capcom's first attempt at an open world action RPG game. Uh, and you travel with a party of four, uh, trying to get your heart back from a dragon that has stolen it. So as far as the world that Dragon's Dogma takes place in, it's uh, more of a kind of like a medieval, uh, your, your typical fantasy style uh, world. Uh, the name of the world is called Granzis. Um, and as far as the main character, basically what happens is he has his uh, heart taken out from a dragon. Uh, and the main premise of the game is to get back his heart from the dragon. With the pawn system, uh, basically you, you can have your main pawn hired by other players around the world. Uh, so basically when you create that pawn, uh, you're creating it for yourself, but also you're creating it for people around the world to, to uh, experience uh, and have uh, your pawn in their party. Uh, and in exchange, you're exchanging uh, a lot of different knowledge about quests and and different foes as well, and you can exchange items as well as uh, as equipment uh, and experience as well. So there's a lot of uh, exchanging to do with the pawn system, uh, and it provides a really uh, fun experience for people because uh, you can have so many people hire your pawn at once, uh, and then when all that knowledge comes back to you, uh, you'll know how to fight, for example, uh, an enemy that you didn't know or that you had trouble fighting before. Yeah. Basically, uh, the fighter is more of a straightforward, powerful uh, character. Uh, uses a lot of blunt physical attacks. Uh, so people who really want to get in on the action, uh, I'd recommend the fighter class for them. Uh, the strider is more of an agile uh, character, able to climb enemies uh, and have and uh, maintain their stamina. Uh, for the mage, uh, they're mostly just long range, using a lot of magic. Uh, you can also use curative magics to support your team. So people who aren't uh, really uh, adept at fighting close range, uh, I would recommend the mage class or the mage vocation for them. Well, I know. Team play uh, is very important because, for example, say you fight a boss and, and you fail, uh, you really got to figure out uh, where you went wrong. So there's a lot of strategy involved with the, with the fourth uh, team. Uh, battle, I guess. You, you, you find out where you went wrong. So uh, it really depends on uh, all of these different factors and, and, and you really got to strategize when you come up with your party. Well, it's really difficult to say with, uh, without having you actually play the game, but uh, being a Capcom game at heart, uh, we are known for making great action games. And, uh, this being our fir very first attempt at an open world uh, game, uh, the blend of action and RPG elements uh, is something that uh, we think that hasn't been accomplished in other uh, fantasy games out there. Uh, even though Dragon's Dogma is a single player game, you still feel connected to lots of people around the world because there are network functions uh, that uh, are implemented into the game. Uh, so in that sense, it's a very... Uh, dynamic and uh, unique experience for, for gamers. Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma will be released on May 22nd, 2012, and it will be available on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360.